Today marks one year since the Hamas attack on Israel that killed nearly 1,200 people. Here in Central Texas, members of the local Israeli and Jewish communities are remembering the lives lost and showing solidarity with those still being held hostage. Fox 7 Austin's John Krinjak joins us live from the Dell Jewish Community Center in Northwest Austin, where a memorial service is about to begin. John. Yeah, Rebecca, Mike, that community gathering really wrapping up a day full of remembrances here. Behind me, you see these flags, a memorial to those who were killed as well as those who were captured on October 7th. And there really was a renewed call today for the return of those hostages. Edan Alexander. Eta Han. Sagi Dekel Han. Governor Abbott America reading the names of the seven Americans still being held by Hamas exactly one year after the October 7th attack on Israel. All hostages must be returned. Leave no one behind. Members of Austin's Israeli and Jewish communities gathering inside the Dell Jewish Community Center Monday, many with t-shirts reading forever in our hearts, October 7th. 1180 people were killed on that day by Hamas terrorists. In the deadliest attack against the Jewish people since the Holocaust. It affects the entire Jewish community, not just the people in Israel. Outside the Dell Center, a moving memorial displaying the faces of some of the victims, specifically the 364 people killed at the Nova Music Festival, many of them young people. Below the U2 lyrics, they took your life, but they couldn't take your pride. We'll never forget these faces. We never will. Another memorial showing the 97 hostages still being held in Gaza, yellow ribbons tied in solidarity as the fighting continues overseas. I hope that they take away that our community is resilient, that we are bound together in this fight against, you know, what was this horrific, horrific day, that we want to move toward peace, but a lot of efforts have to take place before we get there. Today's commemorations also acknowledging the rise in anti-Semitism that's been seen over the past year, not only here in the Austin area, but around the country. October 7th, of course, was a nightmare for all of us, but October 8th extended that nightmare to a level we did not expect. The Anti-Defamation League reporting a 200% increase in anti-Semitic incidents since last October and a 400% increase on college campuses. It has been a very rough year for all of us. It's gonna be a rough year ahead too, but there are reasons to be hopeful. Now, once again, that memorial service getting underway just in the past few minutes. About 700 people expected to attend. My colleague, Tan Radford, will have much more coming up tonight on Fox 7 Austin News at 10. For now, we're live here in Northwest Austin. I'm John Krinjak, Fox 7 Austin News.